everybody, it's Alexa, and I try to make it a tradition every year to do a Halloween makeup tutorial to push myself. I watched a bunch of the Jordan Hands Hansoween videos, which are so inspiring. So this is my best attempt at making a praying mantis. I feel like I got the dimensions off a little bit, but I still had fun doing it, and you know, maybe next year with better paints and more practice, I will do a better job. But here you can see I'm drawing the basic outlines of the praying mantis, including these little hands that it has coming out of its head and the little uh, fangs under its mouth. And then I'm filling out the bottom of my face with black paint um, to just be the negative space where the, uh, where the head of the praying mantis ends. And this whole idea was inspired by these green plastic, the green plastic ball that I had for my kids that was split in half. And I thought, wouldn't this make great insect eyes? So even if my final result doesn't quite look like a praying mantis, it's still kind of an interesting insect. Um, my husband thought I was something from Star Wars, <laughs> some sort of insect Yoda or something. So like I said, uh, it's a start. So because this paint that I'm using from Walmart, which I cannot recommend, it is terrible, um, because it's so bad, I actually first put down a layer of white clown makeup as a base just to give some opacity to the paint, and that did help. But this whole makeup look ended up being like one of those hundred layers of something uh, videos because I put on so many layers of makeup just trying to get a basic effect. So I keep on testing where I'm going to put the eyes. Um, and like I said, I, I, I feel like I should have made the face more obviously triangular. I'm not sure what I did wrong, but... So I'm layering over and trying to create a look of scales or segments of the praying mantis's face. And I just did that looking at those pictures that I put at the beginning of the video. Now I'm going over this with actually a ballpoint pen because I was trying to separate the layers of makeup. Then I'm going back over the black on my neck and creating a stalk, which is sort of like a neck for the praying mantis. And I'm going over and lining each scale with black. One thing that did work really well is a package of fine artist brushes that I got from Walmart. Um, and I also always have a uh, good experience using cheap Halloween makeup for white and black. It's just colors that I, I should invest in better makeup for colors, better body paint. So I'm going over everything now with sort of a gold color that was in my box of paints. It's not very obviously gold, but again, just trying to build up. And then I went over the little arms and fangs with the gold as well. And going down the neck and adding the gold highlight. And what I'm trying to do is the um, highlight you know, build up some dimension. Again, it was very impressionistic because of the quality of the paints, either that or my poor skill, whatever. Um, now I'm going over with some white, more in the middle, so each layer of highlight gets smaller. Again, trying to create some dimensionality to all this. It's kind of like a turtle. Um, so yeah, maybe I'm a mutant ninja turtle, I don't know. But, or a mutant ninja turtle crossed with a praying mantis. So I'm going over each section with lighter and lighter paints and then going over the neck as well. Now I'm going over the arms once again with white. Again, each progressive pass, you know, the detail gets finer and more clear. And, you know, the idea is when you close your eyes or if you move your, if you move your mouth, the little mandibles will move. That was the idea of my design. Just testing it out there. <laughs> All told, this took me about an hour, and then I couldn't wait to get it off my face because it, like I said, it's 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 cheap makeup and it doesn't feel good on your face, and I was worried about poisoning myself <laughs> since it comes with warnings not to use it around your eyes. But based on a commentary that somebody had made on a, a Halloween tutorial from last year, please do not put things like acrylic paint on your face. I mean, this cheap uh, face paint may be toxic and not that good, but it is better than acrylic paint. So please do not paint your face with anything that is not food grade. Like you can put food coloring into white clown paint and that can give you some pretty good face paints. And you can also make your own face paint, look around for different recipes. But generally, you should only use things that are food grade or uh, makeup grade. 
Okay, now I'm trying the eyeballs in this hoodie because the idea was it was going to be a praying mantis wearing a hoodie. And I'm just trying to position them. And then I was trying to brainstorm how was I going to fix these. I tried with sunglasses. Then I realized I could take a ball cap and I could sew them onto the ball cap and they would stay in place. So you can see I've got my hoodie on. I've got them in there. And I am a weird Yoda praying mantis. So what do you think of my attempt? Um, you know, it's the best I could do. I'm happy I got it out of the system and uh, Vlogtober continues for just two more days. So thank you so much for sticking with me and happy Halloween. So there you have it, the finished makeup. Praying Mantis meets antenna. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe and happy Halloween. Make it a fun one. Be whatever you want to be.